Windows 11 has a new look One of the most noticeable changes in Windows 11 is its new look. The operating system features a streamlined design, with pastel-like colors and rounded corners, and overall a more Mac-like look. The Windows Start menu has moved from the bottom left of the screen to the center, with app icons arranged in the center next to it. Windows get tightly rounded corners, similar to Mac OS. The taskbar icons are now smaller and centered like in Chrome OS, but the Start button is still to the left of the other app icons. The new look also includes transparency, animations, and clean icon design that represent an evolution of the Fluent design system. A couple of new materials join the translucent one called acrylic, the opaque mica, which is slightly tinted based on the background color, and smoke, which darkens other areas to make you focus on an important input region. Dark mode, too, looks more consistent, and these materials change to reflect that mode. You can also switch between dark and light modes easily from the settings app or the quick settings panel. The new look of Windows May 11th appeal to some users who want a fresh and modern experience, but it may also disappoint others who prefer the classic and familiar style of Windows 10. Some people may find the center taskbar and start menu confusing or inconvenient, especially if they have multiple monitors or use keyboard shortcuts. Some people may also miss the live tiles that used to show dynamic information from apps on the start menu. And some people may not like the rounded corners or the pastel colors that make Windows 11 look less sharp and professional than Windows 10. Windows 11's new look is not just a cosmetic change, but also a reflection of Microsoft's vision for the future of computing. The company wants to make Windows 11 more accessible, personal, and seamless across devices. The new look is designed to adapt to different screen sizes and orientations, support touch and pen input, and integrate with Microsoft's cloud services and apps. The new look also aims to create a sense of calm and focus for users who want to be productive and creative on their PCs. But how does Windows 11's new look compare with other operating systems like Mac OS or Chrome OS? Is it better or worse? Does it offer anything unique or innovative? Or is it just a copycat or a compromise? These are some of the questions that we will explore in this video as we dive deeper into Windows 11's new look and why it might let you down. Windows 11 has new productivity and social features that are supposed to make your work and communication more efficient and convenient. But are they really worth the hype, or are they just redundant or intrusive for some users? One of the new features is Snap Assist, which helps you organize your windows and optimize your screen space. You can use different layouts to snap your apps into place, or create groups of apps that you can switch between easily. Snap Assist can be useful if you work with multiple apps at once, or if you have a large monitor that can fit more windows. However, some users may find Snap Assist annoying or unnecessary, especially if they prefer to arrange their windows manually, or if they use virtual desktops to separate their tasks. Another new feature is Widgets, which lets you access a personalized feed of news, weather, traffic, sports, and more with a swipe from the left edge of the screen. Widgets can be handy if you want to catch up on your interests or get information at a glance, without opening a browser or an app. You can also customize your widgets to show only what you care about. However, some users may find widgets distracting or irrelevant, especially if they don't care about the content that is shown, or if they use other sources for their information. A third new feature is Chat, which integrates Microsoft Teams into the taskbar. Chat allows you to send messages, make calls, and share files with your contacts, without leaving your desktop. You can also join meetings and collaborate with others using Teams features. Chat can be helpful if you use Teams for work or personal communication, or if you want to stay in touch with your friends and family. However, some users may find chat redundant or intrusive, especially if they use other apps for communication, or if they don't want to be bothered by notifications. A fourth new feature is voice typing, which lets you dictate text using your microphone. Voice typing can recognize your voice and punctuation commands, and even autocorrect your mistakes. 
you can use voice typing to write emails, documents, notes, and more, without typing on your keyboard. Voice typing can be useful if you want to save time or avoid typing errors, or if you have accessibility needs. However, some users may find voice typing unreliable or inconvenient, especially if they have a strong accent or background noise, or if they prefer to type on their keyboard. These are some of the new features that Windows 11 offers for productivity and social interaction. They may sound appealing and promising at first glance, but they may also have some drawbacks and limitations for some users. Whether you like them or not depends on your preferences and needs. In this video, we will explore these features in more detail and show you how to use them effectively. We will also tell you how to disable them if you don't want them on your PC. One of the biggest drawbacks of Windows 11 is that it has higher system requirements and compatibility issues than Windows 10. This means that many older or custom-built PCs may not be able to upgrade to Windows 11 or run some of its features, such as Android apps or direct storage. According to Microsoft, the minimum system requirements for Windows 11 are, a modern 1 GHz 64-bit dual-core processor that appears on their list of approved CPUs, 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of storage, a UEFI firmware with secure boot enabled, a trusted platform module, TPM, version 2.0, a graphics card compatible with DirectX 12 or later with WDDM 2.0 driver, a high-definition, 720p, display that is greater than 9 inches diagonally, with 8 bits per color channel these requirements are designed. To ensure reliability, security and compatibility for Windows 11 users. However, they also exclude many PCs that are currently running Windows 10 without any issues. For example, some PCs may have older processors that are not on the approved list, such as Intel Core i3-2120 or AMD FX4100. Some PCs may not have a TPM chip or a UEFI firmware that supports secure boot. Some PCs may have smaller screens or lower resolution displays that do not meet the minimum requirements. Even if your PC meets the minimum system requirements for Windows 11, you may still face compatibility issues with some of its features. For instance, to run Android apps on Windows 11, you will need an Intel processor with Intel Bridge technology, which is not available on AMD or ARM processors. To use direct storage, which is a feature that improves loading times for games, you will need an NVMe SSD that supports at least PCIe 3.0 x4 and a DirectX 12 Ultimate GPU. These compatibility issues may limit the functionality and performance of Windows 11 on some PCs, and may disappoint users who expect to enjoy all the benefits of the new operating system. Therefore, before you decide to upgrade to Windows 11, you should check if your PC meets the system requirements and if it can run the features that you want. You can use the PC Health Check app from Microsoft to assess your PC's compatibility with Windows 11, or consult your PC manufacturer's website or a retailer for more information.